I feel like I didn't choose mushrooms, but uh, they got me. <laughs> you know, I feel like they're my boss now and I have to speak for them because they're really amazing. They're like, I'm fascinated by fungal intelligence. So the Specialty Mushroom Project is, the goal is to enhance and grow the number of people farming mushrooms in the U.S. And that can be in urban spaces and rural spaces and everywhere in between. And what we really seek is a diverse set of farmers from different backgrounds and different, with different goals. So some farmers might want to produce a thousand pounds a week. Others might want to grow mushrooms in their community garden uh, and just eat them with their family. And so we're really not uh, deciding what that looks like. What we're trying to do is offer the resources, the education, and the support so that people can get familiar with mushrooms in the same way that a lot of gardeners are familiar with tomatoes or salad greens. Farm School NYC was really excited to um, start working with Cornell in a deeper way. So we had an opportunity with this mushroom project to do a deeper dive and to really create um, a course in coordination with Cornell. What was really unique about the course, which I thought was dynamite, is that it married Farm School's popular education approach to teaching with Cornell Extension's real depth of knowledge in mushrooms. Each group of students that comes through Farm School starts off with a course about training of trainers and it's um, kind of a way of being transparent about how we teach our courses so that folks can learn how to teach while they're also learning about farming. So part of that is recognizing that everyone's experience is valid and that everyone brings something to the table. Everyone has some relationship to food and knows something about plants, whatever that is. And so by validating people's experience, um, rather than seeing people as like an, an empty cup that you're pouring knowledge into, um, you're building off of everyone's experience in, in order to complement um, where they are in life and how they can continue to, to grow and thrive. Since my initial involvement with Mushroom Work, there really has been a huge spike in interest in educational opportunities. Um, a lot of the existing educational trainings that are out there can be costly and so the trainings that we provide in the workshops that we host um, tend to be more accessible for the general public and so they fill up quickly. Our relationship with Cornell is, um, in one hand, it's been a very long-standing relationship. Working together on this mushroom program is actually a very interesting way for us to connect because it's rooted in not just um, education, they have a really great knowledge or skill set in terms of agriculture. Through the extension program, they've also done some work on their urban ag, and this is where we really get to like plug in and connect really well. And so this grant is giving us opportunity to build a new relationship rooted in urban agriculture, but ensuring that there is an equity approach and a lens to that. Mushrooms are a specialty crop, but they're also a high profit specialty crop. And a lot of the farms here in New York City have to think a lot about space considerations. Real estate is very expensive in New York City. It's hard to get space. Inputs are expensive. Um, it's really nice to have a diversified crop production system so that there's different streams of revenue coming in. Our focus on this project is to develop a curriculum and then train a, a series of trainers who can better uh, teach folks in different communities about mushroom cultivation. So rather than have it centralized, we're looking to decentralize that and have community partners understand how mushrooms grow, how you can cultivate them, how you can start a business, and then they can teach them to the, the appropriate places and the appropriate people that want to learn. I think mushrooms are a really interesting crop and an interesting um, living being to work with. They exist in the space between life and death, and that really is a space of transformation. Mushrooms are kind of a mysterious thing to a lot of people, and so we're trying to lift the veil and, and show them what it looks like. And it's really easy to do. It's just learning the basics and getting started.